hair. Have your hair prep shampooed. Get ready to go. Our first step is going to be to make a profile part from forehead to nape. Flip the hair out of your way. We're going to be addressing the perimeter in this first section. So this is how we're going to part the hair. We're going to part it about a half inch depth on a mannequin around the hairline. And um, our little trick we talk about with the hair curving, we make a C shape. We make another C shape around the ear and then we make a straight line across the back. So we are bringing the perimeter out of the section so that we can cut a perimeter guide. So we need to clip the rest of this hair out of our way. Repeat on the opposite side. Half inch, a C curve, another C around the ear, and then a straight line across the back. Flip the hair out of your way. So you will notice we have a half inch perimeter hanging around the whole head. Now we are going to cut what we call a cheater guide so that we ensure this haircut is the same length all the way around. We're going to begin in the center back and cut our first guide. We're going to measure it. Usually the back of the hair is going to be the shortest point on your mannequin. So that's why we want to start here. So I'm going to cut my hair the length of the comb for today's example. So there's my first cheater guide. The next one will be, I'm going to go to the front center and cut a cheater guide. Measure it with your comb underneath the hairline here, and then we're going to cut. Slide your razor through, and now I have a guide there. The next two guides are gonna be what we call the ear point. We call it an ear point because when you have your sideburn, there's a peak or a point there. When we cut this, we're gonna cut it as if, it, if her head was bent down and you have a natural fall. And that's how we're gonna measure it from the ear point down. I would normally stand in front of the doll to cut this. So I'm gonna measure this. And then I'm gonna go through and cut that at an angle. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side of the doll. Need to ensure that both all of my cheater guides match up. Okay. So I will redraw all of the perimeter. I want to start in the back and begin cutting. You would normally stand right behind the doll when you're cutting, but I'm gonna lean to the side so you can see. I'm gonna go to the left side. Everyone can see my cheater guide that I cut there. Measure, when that guide slips through your hand, that's when your razor goes in. And when you push through, I want you to follow through with your razor, like a C curve. Measure it. When that guide slips through, you grab it above your finger and push through. Our last section that we're going to cut in the back is going to be right here on the corner. 
We're gonna hold that straight down at natural fall, measure, and this is where you will begin a slight curve upward. Okay, go to this side and cut. Let it slip through, cut there. Measure, let that gap slip through and cut. And then the last one, we will stop right here on the corner and that is where you will start begin a slight curve motion because this is a round layer. I will stop and leave the ears out. The ears have a recession, so we don't want to cut there yet. So let's go now to the front. If you want to see what your angle is going to look like on your doll, if you take and flatten it out on your hand, I have a guide right here and right here. So that's the angle I will be cutting. So if you just lay your hand flat, press that hair out, you can see the angle that your hand needs to be holding. We're gonna start at our bottom <coughs> ear point and work our way upward. Comb the hair like if it was natural fall hanging down. I have to be aiming for that piece, that cheater guy there, so I don't wanna hold my hands flat. I want to point them up toward that guy. So my guide's in there. I'm holding my razor at an angle. I'm working my way up. Let a little bit of that drop out, add a little bit to it. See, I'm aiming for that guide. Go through, cut through the hair. You can measure here and here in the front. Do not measure here at the recession. So this hair right here is on top of the recession, so I'm not measuring. All I'm gonna do is match these two points up. So you can see where my guide's gonna be, hold my hand at an angle, and cut through. So you should have a nice sloping angle down to your ear point. Go through and check. Now I'm gonna to go to this side. Now when I work my way up, my razor is going to be pointed upward toward the nose. My fingertips are going to be coming down. You can look at the guide, lay it out on your hand, see the direction you're going in. Start at your guide with that angle, work your way up. Started there at that ear point and work my way up. I can check the balance from side to side, stand in front of your doll and ensure that your pieces are meeting from side to side. So now you will notice I have all this cut, all this rounded here, but I have some length hanging over my ear. Your ear is a recession, so you do not want to measure there. So we're going to take this back point and angle and blend it visually from side to side forward. So watch as I do that. You see through here how much needs to be cut. I'm still pulling this down forward as if her head would be down, and I cut through. I step on this side. Do the same thing. Did I measure? No, we do not measure. We're just going to connect the dots, and that's all the little piece I have. So I have a nice rounded shape. There's nothing blunt or straight about this, even looking at the bangs. Even though we cut it in an upward where it almost creates an A there, the way our mannequins are shaped, you still see a nice rounding flow through there. So this is the perimeter of the haircut. Okay, stop. <laughs>